Hi, I'm Sana and you have landed on my perfume channel. Today I'm sharing with you my perfume collection. I currently own 200 perfume bottles and I thought I will divide this video in part 1, part 2, part 3 and 4. I will also do short mini reviews of each scent. I hope you will find this video either relaxing, entertaining or useful. I will flip the camera and see you on the other side. Okay, so this is the part one with 50 perfumes out of 200. Let's just start from one side and let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you will enjoy. Let's start with my Easy Reach Iris Scent and its Prada Amphusion Diris. Sophisticated, clean feel and comforting. It has that old money vibe and also could be described as a quiet luxury scent. In my opinion, it's affordable but well executed iris scent. There's vetiver, citruses, woody accords, and musk. Actually, this is the only Prada in my current collection. Next up is De Los Santos by Bayredo, and this is a vibe in a bottle. In short, it smells like an unlit Palo Santo stick, very aromatic, herbaceous. It has woody, citrusy, and minty facets. It's contemporary, cool, refreshing, and honestly, it's my easy reach daytime scent. Urban chic, minimalistic, and atmospheric scent. And next we have Eyes Closed, also by Bayredo. This is a texturized chalky iris with aromatic cinnamon. The scent is a game of contrasts. The iris is cold, but the cinnamon is warm and enveloping. It also slightly smells like Christmas and sugar-free carrot cake. Yeah, it's quite unusual. Next, we have a stunning looking bottle. Le Monte by Cartier of the toilet. This is a big and bold floral scent with that CEO vibe. Classy feel gardenia, rose, lily of the valley and pineapple. Musky, a bit heady, fresh, sparkly feels, sophisticated scent. Great for office and business meetings. Next up, Sensuous Estee Lauder, an oldie but goodie. This perfume creates a fine sandalwood veil around you. Sensual, warm, enveloping. A creamy sandalwood with lily, honey, jasmine and amber. There's also a solar accord as well. So it makes me think of the beach, a lazy summer day. Next up, a drop de say by Issa Miyake. It's a pretty straightforward lilac scent with lots of musk and almond milk. Dreamy, ethereal, clean feel scent. I grew up in a house that was surrounded by lilac bushes, so I have it for sentimental purposes mostly. Next is Anika Six by Eight and Bob. Unusual floral oriental with slightly balsamic ambery base. This is the only perfume where I enjoy carnation. To me it's a sexy, juicy floral with sandalwood and warm spices. Everyone smells something different in it. Green apple, kiwi, some say it smells like lemonade. Next up, my beloved Naxos by Xerjov. This is an aromatic citrusy blend with a sunny Italian vibe. Tobacco olive with honey, cinnamon and lavender. In the dry down I also pick up a milky almond accord. Unisex, long lasting and definitely a compliment getter. Next up Basilica by Milano Fragrance. Very niche, strange, very unusual blend of aromatic herbs such as thyme, rosemary, sage, oregano, mixed with incense and milk. Totally crazy combination and that's why I bought it. The vibe here is meditative, introspective, it calms my nerves. Buddha temple vibes. Next is the only Mancera in my whole collection, Royal Vanilla. It's a buttery feel honey with patchouli, violet leaf, rhubarb and rose. It feels sparkly, very sweet, has boozy and balsamic elements and gives a long central. Next up is Tony Ayomi Monkey Special by Xerjov. Check out my other videos for an in-depth review, but in short, it's a boozy, earthy, chocolatey patchouli with tobacco, caramel and leather. 
again bougie vibes from it next we have Bhutan the Palace by Elda this is a game of contrast angelic slightly animalic simultaneously paints a picture of the backstage in Moulin Rouge powdery dense creamy heady florals a very potent one next one is a huge favorite and it's side effect by Inicio a very fierce one boozy hook tobacco with cinnamon warm spicy deliciously smelling sexy head turning scent for date nights all right next one is by Carner Barcelona El Born licorice with buttery honey a touch of booze this is a warm and cozy vanilla with aromatic angelica a hug in a bottle love it not your typical vanilla scent which i appreciate oh this is the og black orchid by tom ford dark gothic balsamic scent with booze creamy ylang ylang black truffles and earthy patchouli it's so sensual daring and a very memorable scent love it it's super recognizable and a compliment getter as well next is a staple piece in my perfume wardrobe Mousse Gravageur by Frédéric Mal, made by Maurice Arcel a heartbreaker's best kept secret a very naughty mask with vanilla and fresh spices close cinnamon lavender deserves the hype 100 percent next we have anika 5 by aiden bob a cozy delicious blend of blue plums cinnamon honey and rum warm enveloping super cozy and attractive a compliment getter love it next we have zoddy Walter, just rock unfortunately a discontinued one but i thought i will still share it smells like marshmallows with earthy patchouli unusual compo that actually really works sweet lactonic sandalwood goodness this is probably my most loved sandalwood scent currently and it's by lab 001 in eau de parfum concentration uh, yeah it's a creamy sandalwood with beautiful vanilla and a juicy sparkly tangerine on top i love the detailing of these bottles live is a spanish brand and when they go on sale over here i usually stack up multiple bottles as i truly enjoy wearing it it's easy to wear easy to love scent mm, a compliment getter next we have radiant mirage by estelle lauder a big and bold icy floral scent with metallic tinge ceo type of scent it enters the room before you do rose patchouli aldehydes and musk my nose picks up a rain accord here as well so it's a stunning rainy weather companion hands down my favorite vanilla for multiple years already it has this essential musk warm amber saffron it's rubbery sweet super fun and playful a compliment magnet Rosendo Matteo number five next is heliotrope by reminiscence this is a mars fun in a bottle with a touch of fig leaf and vanilla super cozy comforting heliotrope starchy almond powder i love how it feels and people around me really seem to enjoy this one my travel buddy and here's the younger sister treje by reminiscence to me it smells like vanilla candied almonds with citric opening there's also heliotrope petite grain i see some similarities with the winter palace by memo i love don't be shy extreme by killian it doesn't really project so yeah not sure why but this is the only zara fragrance in my current collection majestic green there's cardamom lemon lime sandalwood and broxen and this is my i need to go to the gym scent next we have live pulse visa and this to me smells like spain mediterranean coastal line 
It's so fragrant, aromatic, packed with frangipani, aromatic herbs, galbanum, driftwood, and a touch of coconut water. Definitely not your basic designer scent. Superb lasting power. Next is Rojan by Lush. This reminds me of Istanbul because it smells like rose flavored Turkish delights, aka locum, with honey and a touch of geranium. Sweet, potent, and has an uplifting, playful vibe. Next one is Rosamunda by Laboratorio Olfattivo. It's an Italian niche brand. I took this bottle from my mom. She has a pretty good dent already. And this is a little bit soapy, a little bit metallic rose with saffron and oud. Transparent feel and one of those molecular type of fragrances. Next one is Tonkade by Laboratorio Olfattivo. This is one of my most loved scents. Tonka bean with vanilla, warm spices, so enveloping, cozy. There's sandal with a touch of incense, patchouli. It's truly a wonderful scent and I highly recommend you try it. It's beautiful, it's enveloping and a compliment getter as well. Love it. Next is a truly classy French chic perfume by Cartier. Bezevole, Stolen Kisses, and this is my Holy Grail lily scent. It smells like a freshly cut lilies, the petals, the stems, mm, yeah, the leaves. It has some green elements, some aquatic elements as well. It's truly ethereal and dreamy. Next is an affordable niche house, Le Coulon Maison de Parfum, and it's called Anari. Anari smells like super icy cold magnolias floating in spring waters. There's cardamom, driftwood. It's super refreshing, cold and ethereal. Next is Vanille Santal, a very affordable scent that smells like creamy sandalwood with vanilla and a touch of a bit masculine leaning cedar. It doesn't last for long and it's not projecting almost at all, so it makes a nice bedtime scent. Next is Tapis Volant by Liliki de Magenere. It smells like zesty, citrusy, super refreshing iris with lilacs, jasmine, lily of the valley. So uplifting, a mood booster and so refreshing. This fragrance has been in my collection for years. It's Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, the OG. At this point, it's almost like a classic. It's a poshy, very aromatic blend of pink roses, orange blossom, oranges, patchouli and musk. And it's truly a signature scent, worthy scent with a bold history. Next is My Beloved Shergi by Serge Lutens. An introspective, atmospheric, a very transportative scent it really has something so unique in it. It has this melancholic, dark academia vibe, honeyed tobacco with powdery iris, sandalwood, and a unique accord of hay. It's truly amazing. Next we have Grand Soir by Maison Francis Kurdishan. To me, it smells like old money. It has this old money vibe, comforting, bougie smelling. Classy feel amber with honeyed vanilla. It's resinous, it's balsamic and has a golden hue. A stunning one. Next is Love and Crime by Exidolo. A super potent, deliciously smelling vanilla. To me it smells like lemon sponge cake with vanilla frosting and warm spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom. It's truly enveloping, a hug in a bottle type of scent. People tend to really love this one on me, so I highly recommend you to try it. Next we have Shekhov Oud Donko by Swiss Arabian. A new addition to my wardrobe. To me it smells like amaretto with unripe almonds, nutty tonka beans and cinnamon. Ambery, nutty, a bit powdery. 
Next we have Ambre by Molinard a niche house with affordable prices and this is a scent where benzoin truly shines a resinous balsamic aromatic vanilla it's nocturnal grounding and smells dark purple to me definitely unisex winter staple next is another one by Sejal Tans and it's Ecran de Fumé their latest release it smells like dusty dark chocolate with booze, tobacco and smoky wood atmospheric, a bit dusty, warm spicy and great for colder weather next is a very complex one by Histoire de Parfum and it's called 1740 Marquise de Sade complex woody leathery balsamic scent with dried fruits and boozy touches I have it because it reminds me of the smell of the attic we used to play hide and seek as kids so this scent is like a little time capsule for me personally next up is Audain by La Tafa. hooked tobacco with plums and grapes woody woody kinda syrupy and smoky a very potent long lasting scent it's truly a beast mode type of scent it leaves a nice scent trail can withstand any weather conditions the next one is Mouths by Nobile 1942 I received it as a gift but we do not really vibe it's a very complex witchy herbal gothic type of scent dark academia slash shamanic vibes very balsamic and herbaceous next I have Under My Skin by Francesca Bianchi it's a beautiful amber scent with animalic accords, cinnamon, orris butter it's very smooth, sensual, buttery feel scent X in a bottle, if you know what I mean it's very enveloping, cozy and yeah, a bit daring next is by Paris Monte Carlo Ilang Ilang Nose B dark, waxy, Ilang Ilang balsamic, a femme fatale type of scent for an evening wear it's mysterious, it's mystical and smells bougie quite a peculiar type of scent so definitely not blend by safe next one is a nice patchouli scent patchouli in OZB by Paris Monte Carlo it's quite linear and simplistic ambery earthy patchouli with vanilla great for layering purposes Next we have Overture by Xerzhov it's from their velvet line and it's truly a velvety feel scent it's tropical packed with tropical exotic fruits and everything is laid on ambery leathery base a beautiful evening scent here we have Santal Superfluid by Les Primordials industrial with urban city flare sandalwood it's a bit metallic with rose, violet, saffron and labdanum turns creamy in the dry down however it's on the chopping block currently as it's a bit too cold for me personally next one is by one of my favorite niche houses Van Cleef and Arpels and it's orchid leather it's a smooth leather with ripe dark blue plums and cinnamon balmy, sensual and creates a mysterious aura around you it's surprisingly easy to wear leather scent which would fit also for an office wear if you do not overspray it's all year round favorite the next one is The Dark Side by Francesca Bianchi welcome to The Dark Side a very moody sandalwood with orris butter, honey, tonka beans and ripe fruits dark, dense, balsamic smells like a Pandora box with secrets in it very artsy scent, art in a bottle and last but not least Anima Dulcis by Arkist a dusty chocolate with warm spices and paprika reminiscent of a Mexican hot chocolate it also has something from the old school French perfumery in it 
So this was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Share your favorite pregnancies with me. And see you on my next one. Bye.